Mentalic is the very first AI progress note generator I had ever seen write a progress note, and it really blew my mind. Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa McCaffrey, founder of the free private practice paperwork crash course, and today I'm going to give you my full review of using Mentalic to write progress notes. Full disclaimer, I am not affiliated with Mentalic in any way. This isn't an ad, and I've chosen not to get any compensation for any of these AI platform reviews. This is my own review from my perspective, and I recommend you use it as just one piece of information to make your decision about whether or not to use Mentalic. This might be a little confusing if you have actually seen my picture on the Mentalic website. And while they did provide me with a free account to test Mentalic out, I am not an advisor for the company, nor have I ever been, and I am not accepting any affiliate payments and have not done so. Okay, now that we have all that legal stuff, out of the way and hopefully have cleared up any confusion, let's dig into the criteria we're using to review all of these AI platforms. We are going to look at number one, how does it actually work? Number two, what is the pricing? Three, how will it potentially integrate with your EHR or current record system? Four, what are my favorite features? Five, any cautions or concerns? And six, how well did it actually write a progress note? So let's dig in. First, how does it work? Well, you can actually use Mentalic a few different ways. You can upload an audio file, which is a recording of your session, and that's what I did for the progress notes that I wrote using Mentalic. You can also type in a full transcript or just a summary if you feel comfortable just typing in a few items and you want it to create the note for you that way. Or you can log into their platform and actually conduct your session online through Mentalic and it will listen in and record the session and then create the note afterwards. Now, obviously uploading just an audio file, if you needed to record on your phone or something, or logging into their platform and just using it as your online telehealth platform, those are both really easy options. However, with the text version, you are limited to between 100 and 1,000 words. And of course, then you're writing yourself, which you probably could have just written the progress note in your electronic health record in just as quick a time. So how much does it cost? Well, the least expensive plan is actually $39.99 a month. And in that plan, you get up to 100 progress notes each month and you can record sessions for up to 75 minutes. The next plan is $69.99 a month and you get up to 160 progress notes. You also get additional templates, including templates for couples, groups, kids, and you can create custom templates, which aren't technically custom in my mind, but it means that you can customize the options already available within Mentalic. And in that plan, you can record up to 130 minutes in one session. There's also an additional pro plan that is for prescribers who see a lot more clients more frequently, but um, for a much less time. How does all of this integrate with your current record keeping system or your electronic health record? Well, it doesn't. <laughs> so you need to copy paste. Um, it is pretty easy to do so. There's just a nice button. You can click copy paste and then paste it into either your EHR or whatever other document system you have for keeping records. You can also download a progress note if you want to keep notes on your computer or need to save them for some other reason. You can also download a progress note if that's an easier option for you. So what are some of my favorite features? Well, the first one is that they have really taken a lot of feedback to try and improve the system. So when I first saw Mentalic used, it was actually, I think almost two years ago now, and they have made a lot of improvements since then based on feedback from people who are using it. They've added customization features, they've added things to emphasize using insurance and make sure that each note covers medical necessity criteria, and they continue to try and improve the AI itself so that it writes better notes. Another thing I like is that it's a really easy system to use right away, it's very simple, there's not a ton of things that will be confusing when you log in, you'll know exactly where to go and what to do. I also like that they give you flexibility for creating a custom template. How this works is that they actually have a variety of different templates available, things like DAP and SOAP, kids notes, couples notes, etc. Each of those note templates has different sections. So there are different bullet points within a section. For example, in the data section, 
There might be things about symptoms or what happened in the session or a variety of other things. Most of those sections have a little checkbox when you go in to create a custom template. And so you can either check off if you want it or don't want it in your custom progress note. So while you can't like upload whatever progress note you're currently using, you can at least pick and choose within their options. And one thing that seems unique to Mentalic, at least at, that, at this point, is that a lot of those options are really specific to things like psychiatry or EMDR or even insurance. So whatever you need to have in your progress notes for your practice, it probably has some options available for you. Another thing I like is that you can choose both what you wanna be called in the progress note and then what you want the client to be called. I always default to client and that's just a personal preference thing, but you can also choose things like individual or patient. Another cool feature is that they have a really detailed intake progress note. So this progress note actually covers all of the sections you would need to review in an intake and is really more like an intake assessment. Now, I always recommend that you have clients fill that information out. You send them a form ahead of time, they fill it out ahead of time, and that way you can just focus on the aspects within that assessment that are really key to cover with them. But if you like to do the form in session with clients, or if a client forgot to fill out the form, then this would be a great option for making sure you cover all the aspects you want in that intake session. Just know that the Mentalic Intake Progress Note does not have all the things that are required to have in an intake progress note. It's really more of an intake clinical assessment. Another nice feature is that they make it really easy to download their BAA, Business Associate Agreement, which if you're in the US, you need to have, you need to have downloaded um, for, in order for you to be HIPAA compliant. They also have a client consent form, so it's a great example of a form you can use to give to clients, to give them a heads up that you plan to use AI during a session, or even if you don't use the recording feature, if you plan to use AI after to write your progress notes. And as an aside here, at least at this point in 2024, it would be unethical to choose not to see clients because they don't want to consent for you to use AI for their progress notes. But for clients who are totally okay with it, um, it's a great form to have and a way to prompt you to review it with them. Lastly, I like that they give you lots of options of what to do with the note afterwards. So you can copy paste, you can download. You can also download a transcript of the session, which again, I could see being really useful maybe if you're in a training situation or for certain sessions. So that's a benefit of having a system that actually records your session and then produces this transcript for you. Okay, so what are my cautions and concerns? And then we'll get into how well it wrote the progress note. So while I think it's fabulous that they created an impairments and challenges section to meet that medical necessity requirement that so many clinicians need for insurance, I do feel that it tends to over pathologize the client in the session. So the language and the way that it describes what happened in these sections um, tends to be more on the severe end in order to meet that insurance criteria. Also, if you are working with insurance, just because any of these AI platform progress notes give you symptoms, give you a diagnosis or list things out, you also need to make sure that actually matches whatever is in your intake assessment diagnosis for the client and also, um, and the current diagnosis, and then what's in the treatment plan. Because I could see that it would be really easy to start relying on the progress note generator to give you this information, but then if it's changing the diagnosis every couple of sessions because content is changing, that could be really problematic. Another concern I have is that Mentalic did actually create information that did not occur in the session. Now, it did this a few months ago when I had tested it out at that time, and although they've made some changes since then, and that same information wasn't made up this time. New information was made up. The bottom line is AI is probably not ever going to write a perfect note for you and you always have to review it to make sure the content is accurate. Okay, so let's dig into the specifics. How well did Mentalic write a progress note? Well, it did a great job of summarizing the session. I feel like Mentalic does an excellent job of giving a really good summary and picking out what is important from the session without making an extremely long and difficult to read note. 
It also gives you client quotes and some really good details, but again, without making it super long. That said, the default templates are kind of like templates on steroids, so they are still really long. For example, in the DAP progress note, it's not just data assessment and plan. There are like 10 bullet points underneath each of those sections. So if you use the custom note feature, you can go in and uncheck a lot of those things that are really unnecessary. I thought it was really cool that the note included not just the interventions, but also identified the therapeutic approach. And I had not given it any information about that, so it extrapolated that from the data. Now, as a side note, the therapeutic approach was person-centered therapy, and this was the session with Carl Rogers, and most of his interventions that were very accurately listed by Mentalic um, wouldn't pass an insurance audit. So don't use that progress note as an example for what you should use for insurance. But Mentalic did do a really good job of summarizing the interventions that he was providing in the session. Now let's get into what I was talking about with it kind of over pathologizing some of the things presented in the session. So in this session, Gloria, the client, is talking about a time when she lied to her daughter and she was feeling kind of guilty about it and deciding whether or not she should tell her daughter that she lied to her and how that might impact their relationship. But the note really presented this as parenting issues and kept alluding to the fact that she was struggling with parenting. And I felt like that could be a really negative thing for someone to have in their therapy progress note when it wasn't that she was you know, doing anything really harmful or that this was a negative thing, it was more an internal conflict. And even in the process of the session, they dig into that aspect a little bit more and it becomes about other things. I also felt like this was potentially a one-off example, something that may have never happened before, might not happen again, and yet it presented the information as if these parenting struggles were an ongoing issue for this client. Specifically, the note actually said that her current struggles were affecting her ability to parent effectively. And that's one of those things I could see potentially being harmful to someone. Number one, because I don't feel like that actually accurately reflects what was occurring in the session or the issue that she was discussing. And number two, I just think that's probably a very bad thing for a therapist to write in a progress note unless there are, is a much more extreme example. So as a therapist, I think it's absolutely fine to say that someone was discussing parenting or is struggling with parenting issues um, but I would not assign a value to that unless you had a very clear example of something that was potentially abusive and you needed to then make a child abuse report. Now, other sessions that occur, this type of thing may not show up in Mentalic, but it did in this one. So I like that it is emphasizing really specific things insurance wants to see in progress notes, but I think it might be over pathologizing a bit because of that. Now, if you wanna see these notes and check them out for yourself, you can click the link that will be in the description below and i will send you a copy of the progress notes that mentalic wrote about gloria's session with carl rogers and that will also include my own personal notes about little specific things within the progress notes and make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you'll get notifications every time we have one of these new ai platform reviews come out happy writing